Hi guys and welcome back to the channel Hell Dominance. Anthony here. Please remember to like and subscribe and also please click that notification bell if you're enjoying what you're seeing and if you want to see more. Coming up in today's episode, this YouTube channel has an exclusive rugby league TV deal. NRL prop on the move to rugby union for 2023. But first, two Wakefield trialists get contract with Super League Club. So we'll begin today by going back to Wakefield as they have announced a couple of their trialists uh, for the game against Leeds Rhinos on Boxing Day have both been successful in obtaining contracts for the upcoming season. Both winger John David Tanivalu and centre Thomas Mims have both agreed to join the club after the the aforementioned friendly match on Boxing Day. John Davy Tanavalu um, serves with the Royal Signals in the British Army and follows follow soldier Ratu Noelago and um, Mitati Vuli Kiripijapani uh, into Super League. He has also played for the Army for Rugby League, but as you can see, he's wearing a army shirt at this moment in time. He's had professional experience also of the 15-man game uh, with Wasps and London Scottish. David Tanivalu said, I'm looking forward to getting started. The boys and the coaching staff have been very welcoming and we have a real tight-knit team. I, uh, so I'm looking forward to the start of the season and hopefully getting some good results. I had a run on Boxing Day and really enjoyed it. It was different to what I expected it to be, and pretty fast. But I will get better. I will be better for the experience, and I'm just blessed for the opportunity Willie has given me. His fellow signee Mins has had Super League experience uh, with Leeds Rhinos, Hull KR, and also play for London Broncos. Both players are 27 years old. But uh, Mins comes at it having already joined Newcastle for the 2022 season, but was allowed to leave to take up the Trinity U trial. Mins said, I'm absolutely buzzing. It's a massive thing for me and my family to get back into Super League, and it's something that I've been aiming towards. As you know, I signed a two year deal at contract, which didn't go through due to family reasons and being away from my young family was starting to affect us. I came over to Wakefield and loved every minute. I worked with Willie previously at Hull KR and he makes you work hard for things. He doesn't just hand things over on a plate and to be rewarded with a contract is something I'm really pleased with because I know that I have earned that contract so I'm happy with that. Willie Poaching came out out and said John is with the army but has played a lot of rugby league as a junior having grown up in this country he was after an opportunity to try his hand at the professional game and we gave him a trial in which he excelled to the point where we uh, he earned a contract he knows his position in the squad and knows he has a lot to learn, but I'll give a lot of credit to Tom Johnson, who's taken him on the wing and helped him learn a lot about the game. We look forward to seeing John pick up where he left, pick up and flourish in the next little while. As for Minzy, I worked with him at Hull KR, and he lo was looking for an opportunity to come back and play in Super League. I know he was hungry as well as I know his talents and he's fitted into the squad really well. Again like John, he earned a contract on merit and hopefully he can string a few games together and get some consistency while being on the field. Tom is another one who will be given an opportunity throughout the year and he could be a really invaluable for us. Even though it's given both players a one-year contract, Fochin said, I'm really excited to have both on board, and more importantly, so are their teammates. So for this part of the recording, I'm coming to you from a photo-sensitive um, 
headache sort of situation. Uh, but the NRL looks set to lose one of its biggest names to rugby union, as it's been reported that uh, New Zealand and Melbourne Storm two-time winning NRL Premiership tr um, prop is set to join Japanese League One competition ahead of the 2023 season. It is understood that J Nelson Asofa Solomona uh, will join the Japanese powerhouse Panasonic Wild Knights, who are being mentored by former Wallabies coach Robbie Dean. But the 2 meter 130 kilogram giant prepares to say sayonara to rugby league. It's also understood that taking a watching brief are Rugby Australia on the situation uh, with Nelson Asofa Solomona and keeping a close eye on his movements and could yet offer him a short term deal. Asofa Solomona, 25, has essentially been frozen out of the storm because of his unvaccinated uh, stance and by law uh, any player in Victoria must be vaccinated. The Storm have made numerous attempts to reach out to the prop over the past few months to try and resolve the situation, but to no avail. Um, speaking a few months ago, it was Jesse Bromwich, uh, the Storm captain, who said last month, I'm very hopeful that Naz will come back. He continued, he's a powerful man and a big part of our team. A lot of our boys care deeply for him and I've tried reaching out to him, but I didn't get anything back. I know he's got his beliefs around vaccinations, and it's up to him, but we really want him to come back, so hopefully the matter will resolve itself. Japan, however, have no such mandates in society and therefore is a perfect haven for someone who doesn't want to be vaccinated. And a wallaby went on record saying that it's not Mal uh, well, who's in League One competition at the moment. It's not mandated here, we just have a really strict protocol in place. Before we continue, we do have to say condolences to Nelson Asofa Solomona and the rest of his friends and family who knew his father, as his father passed away last Thursday due to... I... well, no need to speculate here. Take two. We're going to take a moment at this point to send our condolences to the Asofa Solomona family as um, Nelson's father passed away recently and, their f and the funeral took place last Thursday. So we want to send our condolences his way and to his family and to his father's friends as a big part of their life would now be missed. I will now continue. Um, Asofa Solomona was a star in New Zealand rugby as a teenager. The Wellington College forward can play at number eight and in the second row and was one of New Zealand's most sought after schoolboy talents before joining the Melbourne Storm for rugby league. Rugby Australia were asked whether they were interested in signing the wrecking ball forward, who has been in the top half dozen second rowers in his time during the NRL. They are interested in luring him to the game with the carrot of a Wallabies jersey, and should he succeed, a chance to play at the World Cup. The Rugby Union World Cup is in France also in 2024, but they will not break the bank to sign him. For one season. Even if Asofa Solomona did agree to take the financial cut for one year season, whatever stint, there are two reasons he is more likely to just to commence his professional rugby union career in Japan. One, there are a number of promising back row forwards, including Rob Villatini and Harry Wilson emerging, and Rugby Australia will not pay over the odds to try and entice him to the game. And secondly, his anti-vaccination stance w remains a worry, particularly 
for travel reasons. Although there are vaccine clauses that can be used by rugby super states, super rugby states, whatever you want to call it, the preference is for all players to be vaccinated. While all that being said, Dean's Panasonic Wild Knights have been looking for a long time and wanting another second row option in the squad. And it's understood the Japanese heavyweights have tried to lure Wallabies Isaac Roder to the club while they've also attempted to sign Queensland and Wallabies star uh, Tanale uh, Tupu, who where uh, they were willing to pay out his contract to get his signing. So it's Friday and the Betfred Challenge Cup kicks off tonight as at 7 p.m. today, Bridge End played the Royal Navy in the Challenge Cup first round proper, uh, which is a first for these two, first time that they're both meeting each other. But there is all sorts of rugby league that we can cover throughout this weekend, as three Challenge Cup week at Earth games from round one will be broadcast live on different formats. This is because it comes following the broadcast deal announced with The Sportsman, which involves live streaming of 20 matches in 2022. Fixtures that they're going to show include the Women's Super League and Challenge Cup, League One, and the Wheelchair Rugby League. The new broadcast deal kicks off in the Cup this Saturday, the 15th of January, when Wigan St. Pat's head to Mayfield, uh, Rochdale Mayfield. Rugby league legend Andy Gregory renews his relationship with the competition after winning the competition five times as a player. He returns as head coach as a famous Wigan St. Pat's community club. Rochdale Mayfield versus uh, St. Pat's will kick off. The commentary shown on the Sportsman Rugby League YouTube channel, which kicks off at 12 at 2.15 on Saturday. Commentary will be from Matt Horton and analysis for, from Andrew Henderson. And the Sportsman will remain will also stream a tie from the second round, also, which is later this month. They were prevalent in 2021 as a few of the games from the Women's uh, Super League and the Challenge and League One actually were shown on the Sportsman YouTube channel, Sportsman Rugby League. So I don't know how av what the availability is like for worldwide aud worldwide audiences, but two fifteen in the UK on Saturday, uh, that's PM, will show the first of their twenty twenty two schedule. In a statement from the RFL about this deal, we were delighted by the response of rugby league fans when the sportsmen showed several ties in the Betfred Challenge Cup last year. So it's really positive step forward that they will be able to cover so many more games from different competitions in 2022, said Mark Foster, the RFL's chief commercial uh, officer. There is such a great rugby league uh, range to look forward to and this additional coverage of the Betfred Women's Challenge Cup and Super League and of the wheelchair game will raise excitement and awareness ahead of the World Cups in autumn. The return of 28 teams representing Community Rugby League is one of the highlights of 2022 Betfred Challenge Cup after their Covid enforced absence last year. So it's a fitting that the sportsmen will start their coverage with one of the first round ties, which kicks off the season involving two uh, uh, clubs who have shown strength and importance of the rugby league community in Rochdale Mayfield and the Wigan St. Pats. The sportsmen have been around for a few years and their website is very professionally run and very dedicated to all sports, not just rugby league, sports like horse racing, boxing, darts, snooker, tennis, cricket, US sports and athletics, just to name a few. So them showing the sport off of rugby league, hopefully to an international audience, will be fantastic for the sport and the Challenge Cup and the community game.
Never know what happens with small acorns grow big oak trees. And that's it for another episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and also share this video worldwide, as well as clicking that notification bell for any updates on future videos that will be coming your way. Um, so what can we say about today's episode? Um, Nelson Asofa Solomon are going to Rugby Union in 2023. You think that's a bit of a shock, especially moving to Japan? Um, what about uh, the sportsmen getting a rights to the Challenge Cup and Women's Rugby League and the Women's Challenge Cup as well. That's a great effort from that side. And also Wayfield fans, what do you make of these two new signings that are coming in the door? Do you think that's, that will fill a couple of gaps for the uh, coming season? Uh, uh, so, but if not, tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Um, I want to say thank you once more for everyone that's watching this episode. Uh, hopefully some of you will be able to get down or even watch the Challenge Cup on some mediums. Uh, it does support the, the community game massively with all those that attend. I won't say uh, again for the rest of the episode, but in the meantime, please stay safe. All the best. And I'll see you in the next video.